Hello, how is everyone? It's a holiday here in the Philippines. Today is August 21st, 2019, and we are going to review some stocks that you have requested earlier, and uh, we'll go through them one by one. And I have already posted the shortlisted stocks as some of them have already been reviewed last night, so I recommend that for those stocks that we have already reviewed, I suggest you go to um, our pre previous post or you can also go to our YouTube channel and I have posted it here. Now I would like to um, promote our channel. I am Miss JD and thank you guys for uh, granting our requests in the past few days. From 19 subscribers, we are now at 76. So thank you. And um, my recommendation here is that when, um, let's say, if you feel like going back or going, if you want to review the previous talks we've discussed, you can just go uh, to our channel and just open it and just click the settings because. I know these videos are really long, one hour long, and I know you guys are very busy and you just want to know the stocks you are um, invested in. Okay? I've posted the stocks that we have reviewed down below. And if you want to skip some parts, just you know, uh, increase the playback speed and you will see the um, gear icon gear icon over here and just adjust the speed and my uh, yeah the video will just um, uh, be faster than the usual pace okay so please subscribe to our youtube channel i am miss jd there you go and uh, welcome whoever is a uh, joining us we now have 12 thank you uh we are going to review your stocks say hi maybe you can drop a message and uh, so i can recognize you all now i will review the following stocks right on your screen so we'll start with fgen hlcm px togs dmw shell ph PHA, SM, and um, those other stocks that I have on my screen. VUL, I, let's see if we can, um, um, I can go through that as I was able to uh, cover that last night, but I will still, you know, put that here in case we still have time because um, we are going to be chatting with one another in the next 16 minutes or one hour. Let's start. S. Pulgar, hi. Uh, S. Pulgar, Kevin. Hi, ma'am, from Iloilo. Yep. Good evening, Donald. Good evening. Let us start. F. Jen. F. Jen has started to uh, break the MA20 line on the upside, which means this is going to be a, a positive move for F. Jen. So we are looking at some more green days or bullish movements from uh, this stock if you want to get in here get in near ma20 which will act as uh, the next uh, support for this stock okay the next one is hlcm wow good choices HLCM has also um, triggered the upper Bollinger Band. Now, how much of a movement is this for just one day? Let us check. Because normally when you have very aggressive moves or big moves uh, in just one day, the tendency is the next day it might rest. So if you are interested in getting in this stock, try to get in near the MA20 line because um, normally when it goes up, let's say in the next few days it'll go up, tendency is it will rest and it'll give you a few days of red and it will rest around the MA20 line. 
Now, let us say tomorrow uh, you still have another bullish uh, candlestick. Just get in near the MA20 line. You can even uh, change your time frame to a much faster time frame. Just choose the minutes and then get in near the MA20 line. So good move for HLCM over there. Uh, hi, Marites. Mayong gabi, ma'am. Familia Ilo, mayong gabi. Uh, hello po. Watching from Butuan. Jen. MPPI. Or MPI. Did you mean MPI, Donald? Okay, we'll try to check those as well. If you're... If you have t the time, as I, I mentioned earlier, we were able to cover this in our review yesterday same as with chp okay next so hlcm good move just uh haggle near the ma20 line try to get in as near as you can at the ma20 line the next one is px px has rested right at the ma20 line but let's um Look at the weekly chart. Okay. So my take on this is this is now on a weekly chart, guys. I'm thinking it's just retracing. So let's use our um, Fibonacci retracement tool. And this is how I plot this. So, oops. Your Fibonacci retracement tool measures the area or gives you an approximate area where a stock can potentially retrace or bounce. Now, to plot that, you're now in an upward direction. So first point is get the lowest area or lowest point. And what you can see on your screen now, this is the lowest point. I'm using this small red candlestick over here. So if you're plotting it, from body, uh, from the body of the lowest point, you also have to plot it uh, within the body of the highest point. And take note, we are on a weekly chart. Means this means that for every candlestick, you this is equivalent to one week. Okay. Look at this. Is it clear enough? Okay. Now, this is the lowest point and this is the highest point. So these lines that you see are the possible areas where this stock can potentially bounce. Look at this, just take note of 0.5. Notice what happened at the 0.5 level. It created a support in that area. That price got hit multiple times, one, two actually it started here first it was a resistance and then line got broken it crossed above the ma20 line over here the red line and so right after that we experienced uh, bullish moves for several weeks now this stock rested or created a support at the point five area touching the price for several weeks one two three four five weeks now so your condition here is that we can potentially experience a bounce within this week if, let's say, Thursday and Friday of this week, most of the action will happen on the upside because it has rested at the 0.236 area. Now, if it goes lower than that, then your next possible area or area of uh, focus would be the 0 0.382 area or the 3.60 area. So that's how you plot it. Now, the most conservative or the, the lowest it can get here is around 0.5 because it has a support in that area. Hold on. It's a bit noisy outside. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, sorry about that. Just one moment. Okay. So, just take note of that. Now, if this 0.618 gets broken or the price ends lower than that, then we will be experiencing a downward movement. So these are your, this is the most critical level. If 0.618 gets broken, then you have a downtrend. But in the meantime, watch out for 0.236 area, 0.382, and 0.5. I am thinking in one of those lines, this price is going to uh, just bounce or retrace and bounce um, back up. Yep, it's resting right at the MA29. So we just plot that, and uh, those are your key areas to uh, observe. Uh, next, tugs. For tugs, uh, what I can say here is that slowly we are now moving uh, on an upward direction. So what I, what I can do here is just plot. Okay, let's try this. Create this mini line. Okay, this is my short-term Darvas box four days worth. Now, if you want to get in this stock, try to get in near this area. And the condition is it does it should not go lower than that. If the price um, gets broken or starts to move on a downward direction then just cut your losses uh, now if you also want to get in it, the price should start higher than 1.68 so just check if um, the market will give us a chance near the uh, okay so if you just want to do a range trading here enter here and then exit here and then that's an eight percent gain but let's say it breaks that and gives you let's say a starting price of 1.70 and then you enter at that then your next uh resistance would be your ma20 line make sense so observe how the market moves on thursday let's check how it looks like on a weekly chart. So I'm thinking anytime soon, it's at, we're not sure yet whether that will happen this week or in the coming weeks. This stock is really bound to uh, bounce because we are already in the uh, oversold area. We're at the 23.4 area in our RSI. So any moment from now, if you are really interested in this stock, this is actually the best time you can start buying and accumulate. So by the time it, it gives us a bull run or a bullish movement, then you are already invested in this stock. Oh, no, but look at the uh, income. So just be extra careful. Your technicals suggest that anytime soon this stock is going to bounce so this is just good for trading yeah they have high gross uh, uh, revenue but their net income is low so go ahead and do your research guys i'm just giving you some pointers based on technical analysis but in terms of the fundamentals try to uh, research on the background of this company and their future plans so you have a uh, strong conviction whenever you get in uh, on a particular stock 
the next one is a DMW. DMW. <clears throat> Let's see if this stock will create, I'm on a weekly chart. Uh, see if this stock will create a support around this area. Yeah. So while, is, while this stock was moving downward, it was already moving up. Your RSI is already moving up. And indeed, you have a lift uh, on the upside, but we're not um, we're not very safe yet because we are moving uh, below the MA20 line. So it could just be a retracement and uh, the downward movement might not uh, be over yet. So try to observe this line around 47.63 area and let us see if uh, the price stabilizes around that area and give us uh, a bullish move right after now uh, if the price goes lower than that then um, make sure to you know exit the trade when you have a very small loss don't wait till your loss reaches 10%, 12% because it's harder to uh, get out of the get out of your position. My personal take if you're not able to watch um, the market and it for some reason it reached the 10% loss or yeah, a negative of 10%, my profile suggests that hey, you can wait just uh, find another opportunity if it goes further down, just buy some more. And I am just talking about my profile because we all have our our profiles. My risk tolerance it could be um, different than your risk tolerance. Okay, let us say you're okay to lose ten percent of your portfolio, then that's fine with me. But as for me, I can't afford to lose that much if I'm not able to watch the market and it reaches that negative level. So uh, my tip for you is understand your profile first if your profile cannot accommodate a trading for um you cannot do trading because of your activities in the morning so try to be um try to take the route of a position trader where you look at the best setup and then you see a confirmation that it's going to be uh bullish um, that we are going to have a bullish movement in the coming days, that's when you enter. Okay, so that would mean you have to wait for several days before you can take profit. Or better yet, if you don't want this to mess up with your uh, activities every single day, then just be an investor. So for example, you enter around this level and then for some reason the market goes uh, on a bearish move because you understand your profile you will not feel any uh, panic you know and you're not going to be worried because all you have to do when it goes down you just buy some more so it is very critical that you understand your profile because for some people a negative or a loss of a uh, 10 percent could could mean um, a lot of things because uh, some of them rely on trading as their main source of income so that's why they cut the losses cut their losses and find another trade another setup okay and that is me rambling oh now shell ph oops Who do we have here? Good evening, how to invest Paul? Okay, that's a very good question, Benji. Um, and you're from Santa Rosa Laguna. Now, 
we can invest or we can start our journey in the stock market by just simply creating an account with uh, col financial that is one uh, online portal that we use for our uh, trading and then you just have to submit let's say you open an account you choose the plan that you want you can open an account with as low as 1000 pesos and you just have to submit uh, the requirements and they have a form over here and then there are some guidelines on how you can submit that if you're not based in Manila you just have to send the documents to them but if you are here you can just go drop by uh, their offices and then you should be good now if you want to fund your account you just use these banks and you should be good to go you can start buying stocks uh, there are other portals we have a video nomura bpi trade and uh something to i don't know what's the name for metro bank but they also have their um their online tool so it's easy but the most important part in the journey is really understanding uh, number one your profile number two you need to manage your emotions because uh, in the stock market it's a fact that sometimes it's up sometimes it's down now you have to of course um, manage your emotion that when it is down should you get out of the trade or just hang in there then you have to go back again and uh, reflect what is my profile and then technical analysis and what you see here right now we're doing technical analysis we use we study the indicators and those indicators will suggest when you can get in and when you can take profit right the second uh, way of um, being of studying your preferred stock is through fundamental analysis and this is the tool that will that helps all of us in gaining this visibility on uh, the activities of the stocks we engage in so for example you go to let's say ism this is the company everything about this company you should be able to um, review you have their financial sta uh, status the people financial reports disclosures anything any activity that they have in their company they report it to PSE edge and we can review it from here and that's what you call um, fundamental analysis the downside is sometimes people rely on social media to make their decisions and we have to be extra careful guys because there are a lot of people in social media who hype a certain stock let us say they've already um, entered in a stock at a very cheap price and then start they start to hype and uh, the newbies of course they're very good in their in their whatever they do on social media then they influence the newbies and newbies will enter when the stock is already way way up there and then when the newbies enter that's the time they take profit and then who's at the losing end the newbies who don't understand so good job you guys for taking advantage of this free you know online charting online analysis or uh, daily um, live sessions for our market insights I personally do not recommend stocks I just look at it at its face value using technical analysis so that's that's the main journey you have fundamental analysis technical analysis know your profile and understand your emotions or you have to manage your emotions when you are in the stock market so I hope I was able to give you a, a brief overview of our journey here. So 
always study like every day every day um commit a time where you um research about um the stock market so as for me i'm doing this because this is also a learning session on my end i commit an hour of my time daily um to study and i involve you guys so we study together right and okay how will cab let's see okay i'll add that good evening ma'am crescentia uh dmw i think i have that where did i stop hmm Oh, first Metro set is from Metro Bank. Good. Thanks, Brits. Where did I stop? Let's see. Did I talk about DMW? Okay, let's talk about DMW. Because I accidentally refreshed my screen. RSI. let's take this let's use this as our possible um support for dmw because we might have uh some more downward direction in the coming days but right over here the price stopped uh, multiple times around this area and when we say it's an area it could be a slightly higher or slightly lower than 9.70 Okay, yep, use that as your support. Meaning when it is a support, that should be your possible entry price. If price continues to go lower than that, then go back to your uh, objective why you got in this stock. Are you a trader or an investor? Okay, the next one is a shell pH. For Shell pH, so we might see this as um, another bearish movement. Bearish means going down. Bullish means it's going up. Because this, this is actually when the stock is going down, your MA20, which is this one, the red line, your MA20 can serve as your resistance. And notice, it, it did not reach exactly the 37.8 area, but because it is an area, so it could be slightly lower than that. Um, no. We're seeing some more downward movement for this stock. It can give you a little, you know, a lift, and probably will try to break this, but if that line is not broken, then you will have some more downward movement. PHA. <clears throat> PHA has the same story. So we'll create a Darvas box here. Where's that? Here. You can have a range trading. You can just range trade this one. Okay, you can enter here and exit here. If the price gives us higher than that, then you can uh, enter uh, that one and then use the MA20 line as your resistance enter here around this area uh, SM for SM looks like we have bounced so it respects this line hits that goes back up again it hits this area and then goes up again so 
if uh, tomorrow this stock gives us uh, another chance to enter near the MA20 line, uh, you may do so. So it is in an upward direction slowly, right? This is a blue chip company, SM Investments Corporation. So you can never go wrong with them. But the neater you are at the ME20 line, the better. At least you can maximize your uh, your profit there around the 1,000 level. Okay. So that's your focus. Next is uh, AC, another blue chip company, Ayala Corporation. All right. Interesting. So when I said that uh, your MA20 line could be your resistance when the stock is in a downward direction, but let us see if we have another green candlestick, right? What's interesting though is that um, this stock has reached almost, okay, has stopped at the same area for three so it got hit, this area got hit three times for three consecutive days. One, two, three. It stopped at that level. So I'm not sure if that could mean uh, we, we have a uh, possible resistance in that area. Okay, so your condition is if uh, tomorrow the stock starts above this area, and then most action happens on the upside, uh, then you have uh, an uptrend now. Otherwise, this could just be a resistance and it might continue to go down if most of the movements happen below that level, okay? So what concerns me is the fact that this is uh, pointing downwards, okay? Now let's see. Let's look at the weekly chart there. Okay. So just use that that 950 area as um, an area of focus. If that price starts higher than that, then you have an uptrend. If the price goes lower, then you have your downtrend is not yet over. Then. Our next possible area where you can enter in the stock is your MA20 line. There you go. And we are in a weekly chart, by the way. So don't expect that everything will happen tomorrow because per candlestick is one week. Okay. Um, AC. Philippine Airlines, we are on a weekly chart, still a bearish move for how many weeks now? I don't see any signs of reversal yet. So we might still experience uh, some more downward movement for this stock. So just wait till you see a confirmation, okay? What we expect to see in the coming days is that when it the price goes further down, your RSI should already give you a, a different perspective. It should already go give you an upward line or, yeah, an upward movement. Just this, for example. What happens here is that price is moving um, on a sideways. We have a sideways movement. So let me draw th that line. We have a sideways movement over here, but your RSI is already moving up. So key things to remember, price is going down or price is moving on a sideways. So consider those two, but the, your RSI is moving up. Then you have a possible reversal soon. Okay, again, price is moving sideways or price is moving downwards, but your RSI is moving upwards. So those are the key points. The next one is PNB. Again, on a weekly chart, I don't see any signs of reversal yet.
But where could this be? Where could the next? Um, so this one was the resistance before. And there's a rule that when in an upward trend, your resistance, when the resistance is broken, then eventually that will become your next support when the price goes down. So just watch out for the price action when uh, 4350 is reached. So it might, who knows? We still have to observe. So let us say the price hits this level and then it goes back up again. But at the moment, I don't see any signs of reversal yet. You have all HC on a weekly chart again. Wow, good bounce for all HC. Okay. This is a good bounce. Okay. Now, if you're interested to get in and try this out, enter here. Price was hit three times. It moved up. It might stabilize. It might give us a chance right in this area once again. Yep, that's your MA20 line. Good. Will con. Okay, will con on a weekly. This is starting to trigger the MA20 line. So it looks like uptrend, it rested, and we might experience some more upward uh, or bullish uh, movement for this stock. So just try to observe. If you want to get in this stock, uh, your MA20 line could be. Uh, a good MA20 line could be a, a good price to start or to enter at. Yeah. So if you are, um, let's say, interested in this stock, your MA20 line, I'm now on the daily chart. Maybe, because this used to be, um, you know, an area of resistance. Try to get in here. Yeah, that could be a safe place. You're still. Yeah, just 1.30. If you enter in this level, for example, and if you have your 5% stop loss area, that would mean if the price hits around 15.30, 15 yeah 1530 area you should be you should exit the trade that is if you are a trader right but wilcon i think wilcon has a very strong fundamentals it has let's check their news because of the many residential projects happening left and right of course they need uh, to renovate and uh, there are a lot of things that um, you can get from Wilcon when, when you renovate your house. So I'm thinking that could be the reason why. Build, 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 build residential areas everywhere. Residential or, yeah, residential projects. But if you want to get in, observe around 16.14 area. Hopefully it does not go lower than that. Or if you want to be more conservative, enter near the MA20 line. All right. You guys are really catching nice stocks and nice setups here. I bet some of you are already experienced, huh? Maybe you can share how long have you been um, trading in the stock market and we can also learn from you guys. Let's continue, AEV. AEV, look, potentially this 
is your resistance. It did not literally hit the MA20 line, but um, normally. So we have one here, two. So this could act as your resistance. So some more downward movement possibly for AEV. So if you're interested in this stock, I have a feeling that you will still have a chance to get this at a much lower price. Okay. In a downward trend, your MA20 line is your resistance. Where could be the next support? Could be this. So this area was hit multiple times. This could be the next support. Next one is PCOR. PCOR All right. Hmm. PCOR, let us see. We are at an area where in a downward trend, this could be your resistance. So the condition is that price needs to be broken, meaning by tomorrow we need to have movements happening above the MA20 line so we can say that we now have an uptrend. All right. Hopefully, yeah, good bounce on a weekly chart here. This is an engulfing candle, All right? So this is a hammer and an engulfing candle. An engulfing candle is higher or uh, taller than the previous day's uh, candlestick. Now, on a weekly chart, your next possible resistance is at the 5.85 area. Now, if you're an investor, this is an area where you should be accumulating. Upward, well, this one is downward. So hopefully... This is on a weekly chart. One candlestick means one week. Hopefully in the daily chart, this resistance will be broken. So when it goes higher than that or it crosses above the MA20 line, then we are good. Mm, Vita. How's everyone so far? Good evening, Reynaldo. Wow, from Bahrain. Uh, please share our page to your friends, guys. Let's grow this community. And let's um, be, let us be, you know, we can be influencers. And let's share this knowledge to uh, your friends. It just takes practice. Um, it, at first, it might look overwhelming. It might look complicated. But if you expose yourself in this every single day, then you can easily uh, understand these um, technicals very easily. Um, it becomes a muscle memory later on. Uh, Wiki, I, I talked about the MW. I hope you were able to uh, uh, capture that. But in case you have not, then uh, of course this is a recorded uh, video. Later on, you can just go back to it. And of course, don't forget, be subscribed to Miss JD. Oh, new subscriber, Jen Rose. All right, thank you. Now we have three more. We were at 74 at the start of this session. Please subscribe now. Why am I saying that? Because later on, let's say you want to sub, uh, you want to review the stock, and then let 
let's say you don't have the time to uh, view the one hour video, just open this and then adjust the playback, increase the speed so you can finish the one hour video at a much shorter time while of course capturing the essentials. Okay, Vita. Vita is creating a support in this area. So looks like we are about to face a reversal soon. Okay. Just look at this. It's creating a support in this area and this area, but if you are to draw your uh, RSI, it's giving us an upward direction. So I have a feeling we are about to face a reverse also. Next is RLC. RLC. Hmm. Let's check out the Okay. What's interesting here for RLC is that the MA20 line got um, broken and you have a doji here. So I'm thinking we might experience a reversal. Uh, this is a, a hammer. If let us say this week, because you're in a weekly chart, you have a green candlestick, then that would mean we are going to have a bounce. Because sometimes, you know, see this? Sometimes it overshoots on the downside, but it recovers uh, right away. So I'm hoping that that is also the case for this stock, that it overshoots and then it will recover. Let's draw, Let's draw a line. Let's see how it looks like on a daily chart. Okay. So try to use that as your support and your condition is if the price goes lower than that, cut your losses if you're a trader, if you're just trading the stock. But if you are investing uh, an investor for this stock, just accumulate, buy some more when the price goes further down, uh, especially because we're just nearing the uh, oversold area. Next one is VLL. Hmm, VLL is making a, a resistance at the MA20 line area. <clears throat> See this? It used to be a resistance. Every time the price hits the MA20 line, it rejects it. It acts as a ceiling. And until one day, the price crosses over the MA20 line. And that happened uh, on the 28th of June and then we started moving upwards. So when it went down, your MA20 line becomes your resistance. Same situation here. So I have a feeling we might experience some more downward direction for this stock until we see a confirmation. And a confirmation could mean a day where a candlestick crosses above the MA20 line and most actions happen above it, then you can have a breakout, meaning a breakout of the MA20 line. And you will not see that the next days will eventually be uh, a green or a bullish move for VLL. So just be extra careful, observe first, because this is a resistance area. Uh, IDC. Surpass. 
Okay. Surpass is X, right? Okay, for IDC, you are also at a resistance area. And when you say resistance, that's your ceiling, and that's an area where most traders take profit. So if this stock goes further down, here's another sign. The price is around the same area up here, but your RSI is moving downwards. That would mean you are about to face a retracement or a downward movement. Now, you can observe what happens on the price around the MA20 line. And if you want to get in, get in near the MA20 line. Now, if the price goes lower than that, then uh, just uh, cut your losses if you're in this as a trader. And next. CPG. For CPG, uh, same situation. It made an attempt to reach the MA20 line and it wasn't very successful last um, Tuesday or yesterday. Now let's, let's observe first because we might experience some downward movements here. Now, if you want to get in, wait till the price crosses over MA20. I'll go. For Alco, same situation. I am seeing MA20 as a resistance. You might see some uh, downward direction for Alco in the coming days. Here, downward direction. And let us check the weeklies. Now, if you would like to get in this stock, get in near the 0.88 area, which is at the MA20 line. Alrighty. My mouse has a mind of its own. I made 20. Okay, anyway, do you see my, my, my cursor? That's the MA20 line. Okay. Next is, by the way, I'm a, on a weekly chart there. Meralco. Meralco. It's still loading, so let me just check everyone. ISM, Michael, I talked about it yesterday, so maybe you can go back to my video. You can even go to our YouTube channel, subscribe to Miss JD, uh, and then you can just increase the playback speed. Uh, how do you screen or pick stocks to trade? <clears throat> now, I have a watch list, and normally I just, uh, you know, trade within those stocks, and... Um, Sometimes I, when I have the chance, I explore other stocks, and uh, this is how I filter it. Just take note of, of the stock, guys. We're already at Meralco. Now, <clears throat> this is what I do if I'm interested in, in choosing stocks. So I go all stocks, right? And then you arrange it in uh, proper order according to the percent change from highest to lowest. Now, what I do next is I go to where you have the least amount of movement. Because when you have that, that would mean uh, you're still at the sideways or it's still at the consolidation phase. Normally, okay, uh, when you have that. Now, and then I look at the number of trades and the value. So, for example, I have this and I go... So I'm not familiar with some of them, so I don't really take the time. I only look at the ones I'm familiar with. 
And that's the beauty of uh, engaging in the Philippine stock market because you're familiar with the companies. But the downside in my situation is that I work in the morning, so I really cannot watch the market. So I would trade the international market, which happens in the evening. And I am a position trader, so I just check the chart. When the chart says that I'm okay to enter, I just enter and then I, I set my stop loss and I set my take profit area. So going back to the screener, I, I go here and because I'm familiar with SEB, I go check it out and now you'll see that, okay, um, potentially we have a bounce for SEB on a weekly chart. Okay, it already crossed the MA20 line, then I will just have to wait near the MA20 line. Actually, this is already a, a good entry price. Let's see how far are we from... So you're still at a good level because MA20 is a support area. So that, that's it. That's how I go through it. Then I go to the next one, Ali. There are 2,900 uh, uh, trades last Tuesday. So I go check it out. Now it's starting to move on, a, on an upward direction. So let's say, okay, um, this might be in a resistance area. So I would say, okay, I'll wait. So I have my own rules. So in this case, if I'm to trade this, I will wait till the price crosses over MA20 line. And then that would mean we now have a, an upward direction or I can put some rules that if it goes back around this area, which is a support, then this is where I normally enter. So something to do with that. Um, I know before there's a screener here, but there is already, I think, a price. You can just check it out. Um, I'm not sure if they're already um, asking for an additional premium for you to view the screener because before investograms offer everything for free and they've upgraded some features and uh, some of them are no longer free but i just go through that route okay maybe you can take that as a best practice so let's say you want to trade ali you wait till the price crosses over ma20 um, let me go back to Meralco. I hope I was able to answer you, Fritz. Yeah. Sandy, two years in stocks here. Nice one. Uh, Ian, hi, John. John is our senior manager. <laughs> Hello, thanks for watching our live tonight. It will be my first week in the stock market tomorrow. Ooh, Ian. Good job for um, taking action. All right. I've seen you watch our videos the past weeks, so I would assume you're, you're studying religiously. Sandy, is this the right time to buy Vita Med? Uh, okay. Yep, earlier I said we're uh, consolidating at the area, so you're at the support area. Um, so, yep. Thank you for sharing. I'm new to this, so there are a lot of terminologies that I don't understand and uh, get confused. Okay, yes, that's noted, Rose. And my recommendation to you is because we cannot discuss everything in an hour, every new term you hear in this session jot it down and then uh, research YouTube because or, or any website search the net and that's how I learned myself that's how I learned too so uh, list it down and then research them hopefully someday I can also discuss some of those in detail uh, wiki thanks you're welcome Let's check later. I'll add a Jasper. I'll add MY. Oops. MY. Okay, so 
I'm just taking my sweet time because I'm on a one week vacation. I'll be out of the country tomorrow, so hooray. Now, let's go back to Meralco. Meralco has um, MA20 line as a resistance. Uh, in the past few days, it respected, okay? See, it respects the MA20 line, and uh, this is the resistance. When it hits that level, it bounces downward. Now, if you're interested in this talk, uh, August 22nd is the next date. Okay, so wait till, let's see, maybe you can use this. Use this area as the support. Okay, whenever I hear, uh, whenever I say support, normally that's the best price where you can enter at. Okay, enter near a support every single time or near a bounce area. And our bounce area in, a, in an upward trend is always uh, the MA20 line. Okay. Next is BUL, which I mentioned um, this in my previous video. Now, BUL is trying to make an attempt. It is about to cross the MA20 line. So if, uh, let us say, tomorrow you have another green candlestick where most of the action happens above it, then we now have a confirmed upward trend, upward direction. Next one is MPI, which was also covered last night. MPI is about to retrace. If you want to get in the stock, use MA20 as a best entry price. It doesn't have to be at exactly 4.75, okay? The nearer you are to the MA20 line, you know, the better uh, you can get um, the best value for your money. Uh, or, uh, yep, that's a possible bounce area. So wait till you reach the MA20 line. CHP which was a, on a downward trend for the longest time, for several years, and it's starting to recover now. And their Q2 earnings is really good. So let's observe. Maybe you can enter near the MA20 line, which, see that? Check, okay? Because, um, we have a full red uh, candlestick last Tuesday. So observe, try to get in near the ME20 line or if you have a confirmed, sometimes um, most gurus would recommend that you have to wait for the green candlestick to appear before you can get in, which I agree. Wait for a confirmation that indeed we, we have a bounce. The next one is CAB. So CAB broke the MA20 line. So just observe, excuse me, sometimes, uh, remember, it's always an area. So sometimes this thing happens, but it bounces right away. So just observe. If this one, don't get in yet. Just um, wait for another day, perhaps, where you will see a confirmation. Let's see whether there's another red candlestick. If it has or it, it, do, it does give us a red candlestick, then uh, stay away from this stock. But if tomorrow it gives us a green candlestick and it ends above the MA20 line, then we are in a good position. The next one is X. There you go again. My mouse. X. For X. It is, wow, look at that. 
I hope you guys didn't enter around this area. See this? For X, let's try to zoom out and look at the weekly chart. So currently, X is, is still at its consolidation stage, moving just within the range. But look at your RSI starting to move in an upward direction so this means that anytime soon we might face a possible uh, bounce okay and we are on a weekly chart by the way yeah a lot of negatives but based on the chart we will potentially face a bounce soon. So this is a stock that I'm not very confident in terms of uh, investing. This is just good for trading. So I'm not 100% sure if your profile, I forgot your name who asked this earlier. Uh, I'm not sure with your profile, Kathleen, if you are an investor or a trader for the stock but if you are a trader just observe maybe another green candlestick let's check the daily chart because we might see but look we're not done yet it might consolidate at the same area in the next few days because look at the direction of the bollinger band it's facing downward still so uh, just wait if you have entered at a much higher price hopefully uh, this stock bounces soon uh, MRC for MRC uh, the same situation you're actually at the um, support level for MRC there you go but let us observe Yeah, it might can still it might consolidate within the area before it gives us another bounce. The next one is M Y. <clears throat> uh, two months palang ako for a mark. So how's the experience so far, Mark? I hope you find our daily sessions helpful. I think I, uh, when I started our page, it was uh, almost the same. Uh, at, it was almost at the same time when you started uh, trading the stock market. Uh, Rose, great, thanks. Uh, still a noob. We'll save your YouTube video soon. All right, but please don't forget to subscribe. now uh meg for jarvis uh jarvis you can also check out our video last night i talked about meg and i've also outlined i did the same i've enumerated all the stocks we have reviewed and i will also do the same for here okay uh i'm learning a lot thanks fritz so so we've received you know, when, when I was starting, I was, um, I would always hear um, the experts say, you do a journal. You journal, you, uh, you write down your entries and, this, and of course, um, outline the reason why you entered there and those other stuff. Just uh, maintain a journal. So they would always say that. And what I'm actually doing right now, it's like journaling um, these stocks. And uh, well, some of them or most of the stocks I'm reviewing, I'm not uh, traded in those stocks, but it's like my journal. Every single night that I discuss these stocks, um, I, these are recorded. So I would normally go back to it after the market closes and then um, 
when my analysis is correct, I reinforce it in my traits. And if you're going to ask me again, for some of you who would have just uh, joined us, I am more uh, active in the international market. I use eToro, by the way. And uh, if you want, you can also check out eToro. And uh, it's actually, for me, it's way cheaper than trading uh, the Philippine market because with eToro, uh, you will be able to trade with no leverage. When I say leverage, that would mean you're borrowing money from the platform and they will have a certain charge. Now, let us use this as an example. eToro. Okay, so do you see my screen? This is eToro. I'm, I'm showing you the virtual platform or the virtual side of things. In eToro, you can uh, trade cryptocurrency, ETFs, stocks, indices, currencies, right? And let us say, because it's a weekend, uh, crypto is, is open. We have uh, 24 hours for crypto. Now, for example, you want to buy. So those who are interested in really um, starting their journey in the stock market, try to do trades using the virtual platform first before you start um, using your actual money okay so for example i want to sell in the philippines you cannot do sell or you cannot short when you say sell that's shorting you you feel that this stock is going to go down further so you sell here now this is leverage if I only use times one, that means I will just be trading the money that I have deposited in this account. But if you use this, that means you are going to borrow money from the platform. And then it can, let's say your 1000 now will be doubled. See that? And it has a charge. Look at that. Overnight fee of 0 0.79 and a weekend charge of $2.36. It depends on the amount you are trading. So let's say $100, you have 0 0.08 and 0.24. And this one has a stop loss. So even if you sleep, your money will work for you because you know you've already set your stop loss level. Let us say, oops. Okay, let us say that's my stop loss. Okay, and that's it. You're already in the trade. And you can also copy people here. So you're say, let's say you're very busy and you don't have the time to trade, you can copy people. So whatever trades they have, you're also um, trading them. So that's the beauty of it. And let me check. You can also create an account here. Creating an account is free actually. But I think, look at this. Once your friend, so I'll give you this link, okay? You create an account here if you're interested in trading the US market. Don't be scared, guys. It's just the same. Uh, you use the same technical analysis and in fact you can be trading or you can be investing in a much stable company like Facebook, Google, Amazon, you can trade them or you can invest in them using this platform, All right? Now, look at this. Once your friend joins and makes a deposit, they'll receive $50 from us, All right? So they give you a gift if you deposit um, their minimum amount, a minimum amount of $200. And then they will also give me $50. So give and take guys. So if you're interested, I'm posting the link here. You can create your account there. Yay, Marcus, thank you. <clears throat> Subscribe to both Facebook and YouTube. 
Ma'am, will you recommend to buy KPPI tomorrow? Okay, good question. I will not recommend. And that is my profile, just my profile. Because number one, I cannot watch the market. And, and that is normally the setup of the uh, of the experts. Because they, they can really uh, watch it by the minute. Now, if you have the time, so all you have to do, let's say KPPI, see that on its second day, another green, but good. Now, what you can do is watch for the market or the price action in a faster time frame. Now, my take here, look at this. Price was moving up, right? Price was moving up. Yeah. But you get the point, right? Price was moving up. But look at your RSI. It's moving down. That means it is becoming more expensive. So that's just my two cents. I'm not very comfortable playing this stock. Okay. Uh, thank you, ma'am, from, from Olivia. Thank you, ma'am, for free learnings from OFW Korea. All right. Why are not into, why am I not into JFC? I'm still saving some more money to buy some more JFC, but uh, I was in JFC for almost a year and I managed to exit the trade around uh, where was that? Let me let me check. Around 324. But my my average back then was 270 if I can remember it right. I was able to exit around this area and I entered around this. It was there were several entries there uh, at one point i was able to enter at a much lower price around this level and then let me just you know i backtrack my trade there but i entered and exited several times in jfc and the last one was when i exited at 324 level um okay so do we have anyone from Let's say Japan here, Osaka, drop a message. We might, uh, who knows, we'll see each other there. Um, but I will still be um, doing live uh, in the coming days. I'll be out uh, for a week and uh, we'll be staying in Osaka. And uh, I will also take a video of our Airbnb. It's a cute place. I'll take a video of it and then share it on my YouTube and probably bring you guys along in our road trip and food trip there. I plan to post them in uh, our YouTube channel. So, yeah, those are the things I would like to explore. Eating, traveling, and stock market all in one page or all in one channel, and that's Miss JD. So, uh, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. That's our simple ask. Wow, 82. Thank you, guys. Amazing. Okay, we'll definitely bring you to Osaka. We'll post some more pictures, I oh know, videos here of, of our travel and uh, food trip there. Uh, India stock. Um, Vishnu, um, I'm not sure which portal though, uh, are they in a Toro as well? Maybe I can someday, uh, but I only explore uh, the Philippine market and the U.S. market. And let us see if you have, you know, if the community is growing and we'll have other nationalities i can also review those probably a lot 
a certain day within the week where we can have live sessions like this um, discussing the other markets around the globe that will be interesting let's say every mondays would be uh, u.s market tuesdays who knows we'll see a lot of uh, promising directions for our page and our channel but please don't forget to uh, share our page so far uh, we're enjoying what we're doing here what time do you go live so that this is from Rose. So Rose, um, there are a lot of dependencies. Number one, if um, tra traffic is not horrible, then I will be able to reach my house really early. Then normally we would have our live around 9 to 9.30. But sometimes when it's super traffic, uh, the other day I was able to do live around 12. Imagine that, 12 in the evening. So whoever was there at that time, <laughs> kudos to you guys. Uh, apart from that, any other questions? Uh, we'll be boarding my assigned vessel next month. Good to hold and forget AEV and Vita. Um, my, hold on, let's check AEV. For Vita, so for AEV, we're seeing some possible, um, you know, downward direction for AEV. So we might still experience that. Now, I really don't know where your entry price is, so I cannot make a, like a, precise recommendation but I'm seeing that it will go further down now let us say you've entered around this area then I don't recommend you you cut your losses because that's way above there but if you just entered let's say uh, last Tuesday you're still at the you know uh, your cut loss area is still still at a tolerable stage or range so this is a Boitis, and now looking at the fundamentals, a Boitis is good. So if you're in it as a long-term investor, then I'm sure you know um, it won't be bankrupt anytime soon. So just accumulate. But for Vita, Vita is a secondary stock. Now. This is just good for, for trading. If you will be out, let's say, for a month or two, you're still at a, yep, you're still at a very cheap level. But again, this is, Vita is, for me, my personal take, it's not for, for long-term investing. It's just for trading. But looking at the level where it is right now, um, we might see some signs of reversal soon. So hopefully you will have the right timing uh, if you have not entered in the stock. When are you going? Next month. Just observe this support. Hopefully this is not broken. And um, in the coming weeks, we might experience a bounce and use 1.89 as your uh, resistance meaning your profit taking area and this is in a monthly chart okay i'm looking at the monthly chart every candlestick would mean one month i'm just trying to envision your your uh your work will be out for several months right okay vita is about to bounce really really soon Oh, and who else do we have? No comments. Oh, MY chart, please. Not yet discussed. Really? Sorry about that. And this is for uh, Jasper. For MY, negative, 
negative. Let's look at the daily chart. We're at the consolidation phase for MY. If you want to get in the stock, try to haggle near its support. I'm seeing this as a possible support. Okay, look at this. Moving up while well, this stock was moving downwards. Right now, but look at that. So see this, and then this could be um, a retracement. It's trying to make it's trying to stabilize at this level. So if we have um, another red candlestick in the coming days, or let's say tomorrow. Try to get in near 18.24 18.24 area if you want to get in M wide, and then just cut your losses uh, if it goes further downwards. But I am seeing that this is a potential support area over here. Then enter, and then it goes up. Okay, so that is for. Uh, was that Jasper, right? For Tugs, I know I covered it just, let me see, Tugs, yeah, that's the fourth stock I covered, Mark, you can just uh, replay it, IRC also covered that, green, and now, green, let us see for green, I'm not very confident for green, so it moved up, but it could be uh, it could give us some more or red candlesticks. See this? It goes up and then goes down again. It goes up and then might give us another red days. So just observe if you want to get in the stock. Try to get in here. We're actually in the support levels. A little down. It's not following my instruction. Okay, so that hit that level, this level, and the one, two, three times over here. So that could be your support area. So if you want to give it a try, then yeah, you can give it a try. Uh, we're in a weekly chart, and I'm seeing a support at the level at the level where it is at right now. Um, and that's for green. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Marites. And time to pack for me. It's nine thirty-nine. Our flight is tomorrow. You have a great evening, everyone. And goodbye for now. But I'll still have, um, you know, we'll always have our live every night. And I'll show you our Airbnb listing. <laughs> See ya. Bye-bye. Say goodbye to them. Goodbye, everyone. Have a nice day. Okay.